right, so I bought a Synergy High Sphere Drag Link because mine, it shot, as you can tell. It's all worn out on both sides. So we're gonna replace that. Pretty bad. It is really bad. It's really loose. Oh. All right, we got it off. Now you can tell the difference in size. The joints, the construction, everything. I don't think that moves. No, it doesn't. Look at how gross that is. Jeez. All right. All right, so it comes with these little castle pins, or mm. castle nuts, excuse me, and that's on top. And then a pin that goes in there. So after this is tightened, put the pin in there, and then they give you the bolt here, and that's to tighten everything else up. Once it's back up there, it's tightened. So now I'll put it up there. Getting the old one off kind of sucks. Uh, we used that little fork and a hammer to beat the shit out until it pop popped it out. Um, don't hit the, the nut itself on top. Um, if you do that, it could taper and then it won't come through. You have a much harder time of getting it off than what I just did, so. All right. Two tools you're definitely gonna need. What? Oh, I'm just talking to this. So you need the seven eighths drill bit, which is not at many local hardware stores. And then you need some cutting oil because you have to cut or drill that to seven eighths for the little uh what do they call that adapter now we just got to clean up everything sleeve adapter sleeve adapter sleeve that's what it is we got to clean up everything and then put that sleeve in there and then we can hook it up wheels everywhere all right so the drag link has been installed and it was a fiasco at first um it's really stout really strong but now I'm having more issues so I have noticed that my steering stabler has already failed so my steering is like kind of wonky right now it wants to like pull to the left and then pull to the right and it's, it's really annoying so one of the sway bars in the front the sway bar end links Lost a bolt, so I ordered two heavy duty, um, a set from Rubicon Express, they're quick disconnects. Those are supposed to be here tomorrow. Um, I'll put those on and then, I, I mean, I only put the steering stabilizer on, like, what video was that? Like maybe four months ago, five months ago? Which is frustrating. So, I'll get the new sway bars, or the, the sway bar link, excuse me. Those will be tomorrow and I'll put those on. Um, the drag link install was kind of annoying. Um, once we put it in, obviously you have to go get an alignment. The shop that did the alignment didn't know how to properly deal with an aftermarket part, which really doesn't make any sense. So they were like, the alignment's good, but it really wasn't. It was kind of out of whack. So I took it back down there, and then he was like, oh, we don't really deal with aftermarket parts. I'm like, well, then why'd you take it in the first place? Took it anyways, whatever. So I brought it back here. Um, it's still straight. Um, the drives perfectly straight. That's fine. But like I said, it wants to like be everywhere. It's really annoying. So it's really it's hard to drive. So I've been kind of like trying to diagnose the issue. Um, maybe it's the fact that there's only one sway bar, which I really haven't been driving that much, so it didn't really make a big difference. Um, this only started happening when I installed that. Um, but I'm assuming that you know the tie rod isn't gonna be next because those joints are bad. I've checked the ball joints. 
they seem fine. Um, so it's kind of like in a, in a limbo right now with the Jeep. So I don't know. I'll upload today. Um, and then tomorrow we'll see if we can get the quick distance on there. I'll make a video about that and then we'll drive it again and see if that fixes it. And then we'll go from there. But that's a little update on the Jeep right now. Um, it's not running really well or not running, but driving. Um, I don't know. I don't know what to do this. So that's an update. Thanks for watching. Um, if you guys have any uh, advice or you know anything that you've dealt with that is directly related to steering, um, leave it in the comments below. Um, it'll definitely help me. Uh, I'd love to hear your stories, what you did, what you tried, um, how you figured it all out. Once the Jeep gets back to stock, then I can, you know, figure it out. But the fact that I took the steering stabilizer, it's not connected because I know it's bad. And the sway bar links aren't on there right now. But, yeah, just let me know what you think. Anything you got. Advice is greatly appreciated. Thank you.